Okay, welcome back everybody. So I thought I'd take a minute and do a relatively quick video here lining out the roadmap for the way forward with the Zelda project. I completely understand that the Zelda project is where most of my followers have come from. Most of my subscribers are here specifically for that. So I thought I would take a little bit of time before I continued it now that things have kind of calmed down at school and uh, organize everything for going forward. Uh, and then kind of outline that. So going forward, there's going to be four kind of mini tutorial series within it. I was going this way before I had the big interruption in tutorials um, with the inventory, and I started the ability system. But I'm going to continue with the ability system and continue with these being kind of mostly focused as being individual tutorials. However, if you've been following along, you can continue following along, of course. So let's take a look at the tutorials that I'm going to be doing. So first up, I have a series on abilities. And the first video in the ability system is going to be coming out uh, either on Monday, the uh, 14th, of 2019, or 14th of October 2019, or on Tuesday, the 15th of October 2019. It's coming out one of those two days. I have it recorded. I just need to get it edited. Uh, and the other abilities we're going to cover is we're going to rework the arrows. We're going to make some other projectiles, we're going to make some beams, some bombs, and then talk about how you can expand this into your own versions of the abilities. Next, we're going to be doing dialogue. The dialogue system, you if you've been following me on Twitter, you can see a sample version of that project I've put up. It's a branching dialogue system. It's going to have JSON integration, it's going to have portraits of who you're speaking with, and I plan on having it integrated into cutscenes as well. So that's going to be the second mini tutorial series. The third is going to be a shop system, which is going to slightly rework the inventory to make the scriptable objects serialize better, and a shop system so that you can buy and sell objects that you get. And then the fourth mini tutorial is going to be for bosses. It's going to be focused on boss AI and how to link defeating a boss to progression in the world, making things change after you defeat that boss. So, I'm planning on having one video a week. Some weeks might have two, but you can look forward to one video a week. And like I said, the first one's going to come either on Monday the 14th of October or on Tuesday the 15th of October. Now, for patrons, uh, my tutorials going forward are going to focus on some other core mechanics inside Zelda. Uh, for one thing, for patrons, I'm going to rework the already existing tutorial on box pushing, so I thought of a better way to do that, and the box pushing wasn't great the way it was. So that's a Patreon-only tutorial that's going to be coming within the next week and a half or so. Uh, in addition to that, patrons will also get tutorials on how to make specific kinds of enemies, uh, for example, bats and a few other Zelda standbys. So, uh, if you want to, you can join my Patreon. I'm going to start adding those videos within the next week and a half or so. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. You can follow me on uh, Twitter, or you can join my Discord, where there's tons of really good people there. I try to be in Discord as often as I can, which is not as often as people would like me to, but I try. And, yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know. And I hope everybody has themselves a wonderful day.